In this video tutorial, you will learn how to create a map journal story map. Story maps use a combination of words and multimedia such as photos and videos that allow you to tell a story using a map. A few examples of where a story map might be suitable are to describe historic events, world current affairs, places you have visited, or tracing a soldier's journey through the use of a map. Before you begin creating your story map, you need to consider a few things. The first thing is defining your story. What will your story map focus on? What type of base map do you want to use? What data do you want to include? What images, videos, or text do you want to include? Once you've considered all these things, you're ready to create your map journal story map. In this video tutorial, we will use a type of story map called a map journal to tell the story of a soldier who served with the Royal Newfoundland Regiment during the First World War. The following steps are required to create your map journal story map. First, you must create a web map. Choose your base map, save your web map, add data, symbolize data, and then save and share your web map. Second, create your map journal story map. Here you will configure the components of your story map. This includes adding text, images, videos, and maps to your story map. Once you're done, click Save and share your story map. Let's get started. To begin this tutorial, start by setting up your web map and saving it. It's important to save your work throughout this tutorial. The first thing you have to do is open a web browser and sign in to ArcGIS Online at ArcGIS.com. Then click Map. The ArcGIS Online Map Viewer will now be opened. Use the search box in the upper right hand corner of the Map Viewer to focus your map on your soldier's hometown. The search box can also be used to search for countries, cities, specific addresses, and even certain monuments. In this case, just type in the name of the town the soldier was born in. Zoom in to increase the level of detail displayed on the map around the hometown location. You can zoom in several ways. For example, you can use the wheel on your mouse, the button that appears on the left side of the map, or hold down your shift key at the same time Using your mouse, draw a rectangle around the area of interest. Select a suitable background base map by using the base map menu. You have 10 options here. In this case, try the National Geographic thumbnail. The National Geographic base map is useful if you require country borders to be clearly identified. You can change your base map at any time while creating your web map. Click Save and then choose Save As. We're now going to save the web map that will be used in your story map. Create a title that will be clear. Remember to add tags, which are keywords, that will allow you and others to find this map. Add a summary if you'd like, and if you have folders created in your contents area, you can save to a specific folder. Click Save Map. Now that your map is set up, you can create your own locations for each place on the map visited by your soldier. So the first thing you want to do is click on Add, and then from the drop-down list, select Map Notes. In the Map Notes window, ensure that the template is Map Notes and click Create. A list of features will appear to the left of your screen. A new Edit button has also appeared at the top of the page. The Map Notes template allows you to add your own content in the form of notes to the map. A note can be a point, line, or area displayed on the map that you can add information, including text, images, or links to specific websites. You can also add text directly to your map. Select the stick pin icon from the Add Features options. Single click with the left mouse button anywhere on the map to add a push pin at the point you click on. Here we can add the information for this point. Click close when you're done. You can also add line and area features to your map using the appropriate symbols in the add features window if you feel that these will add useful information to your map. Additional information for map notes are displayed in the form of pop-ups that appear when a person reading your map clicks on a feature that you have symbolized with a push pin, point, line, or area that you have drawn on the map. First, you must go to the Edit button. Click on 
the point and then it will open up the window. Here you can add your description, your title, and an image URL if you would like. You can also customize the way the pop-up displays on the map by formatting the text and altering colors. If you are not satisfied with the feature that you added, you can remove it by clicking on the delete button and repeat the process to improve the look and feel of the content you have created. To get out of an edit session, click on edit. If you would like to go back, just click edit or you can select one of your features and click edit below. And this will open up the pop-up window again. To add an image, it must be hosted somewhere on a website on the internet. Use a search engine to search for an appropriate image or visit a website to find an image that is relevant to your topic. Right click on the image and select copy image location or copy image URL depending on the browser you are using. Ensure that the URL ends in a photo format such as .jpg or .png. Once you have your image URL, go back to your web map and add the image URL in the image URL space. To hyperlink your image back to its source, add the website URL to the image link URL space and click close. If you'd like to change the way your features are displayed, you can click on the feature in either edit mode, or if you're not in the edit mode, you can click on the feature and then click edit. And once your pop-up appears, you can change the symbol by clicking on this button. Here you can change your symbol. You can also change the symbol size. And once you're done, click done and close your pop-up. Now you're ready to create a map journal. So first we must save all our changes to our web map. Then we want to go to share. Share your map, click on make a web application. Look for the template titled story map journal. Click on publish, add your title tags and summary to create the story map and save your story map to a folder of your choice then click Save and Publish. This Map Journal Builder will allow you to choose between two map layouts. Select Side Panel and click Start. Add your title and then click the arrow. The Home Section dialog will appear and this is where you add content to the first page of your journal. Here you can choose the type of content you want displayed, such as a map, an image, a video, or a web page. Decide which type of content you want to display in the main page of the map journal and select the button next to it. If you choose an image, it must be hosted online, either through Flickr, Facebook, Picasa, or a URL. A video must be hosted on YouTube or Vimeo. For this example, we will use the map option. Then you will select a web map. Click on the down arrow. Then you select location and custom configuration. This will allow you to zoom into any location on your map. And then click Save Map Location. You can then select Content. This allows you to select the layers that are available on your map. Then go to Pop-up Custom Configuration. And if you want, you can select on a pop-up to appear in your first slide. Overview Map and Legend. You can select those to add these extras onto your story map. Click Next. Now Step 2 will appear. This is where you would add your side panel content. In this case, this is the content to the left of your map. Here you can add text, hyperlinks, videos, and images. Once you've added your content, click Add. To add a new slide to your map journal, click Add Section and the process starts again. To organize your slides, click on the Organize button to delete or change the order of your selections so that they correspond with the timing of events for your story map. You can select a slide and move it down or up. You can click on the Delete to delete a slide and then apply your changes. To make changes to your map journal, click on the relevant 
slide or section that you want and click on the pencil icon to edit the content. Once you've completed your map journal, you can share it. Click on share and click copy and send the link through email or post this link on social media. Note, by default, your map journal is shared the same way as your web map is. Remember to save your map journal while working on it. Let's go through the steps again on how to create a map journal story map. First, you must create a web map. Choose your base map, save your web map, add data, symbolize data, and then save and share your web map. Second, create your map journal story map. Here you will configure the components of your story map. This includes adding text, images, videos, and maps to your story map. Once you're done, click save and share your story map. Contact us at k12 at esri.ca and go to our lesson planner for free resources at esri.ca slash lesson planner.